on from our emotional management module where we looked at stress and some techniques to be able to have more calm and balance in our life. So being able to emotionally manage yourself more effectively. Today we're looking at emotional addictions. And I would encourage you to please take notes of anything relevant to you along the way. We've got hundreds, thousands, trillions in fact of neuro pathways these synaptic connections that are in our brain. And what lights up your brain, what really gets you going, is wanting to get towards your reward center in your brain. And strangely enough, our brain's reward center is activated just as much for guilt and shame as it is for pride. So our cells depend on getting certain doses of emotions that we are regularly get occurring. Your, your body wants you to get it fixed. So we want to be able to identify if you have any emotions that, you are, that are regularly coming up for you that no longer serve you. And look at some actions to progress so that you can have a life of greater, deeper happiness. I ask you to become aware of particular emotions that you might be regularly having. And if they are unhealthy emotions, then your cells may have become addicted to getting its fix of that. To give you a little example, a couple of years ago, I had a family member dying of cancer. And that was an extremely sad time for me, a, a huge emotional roller coaster. And I became addicted to sadness and guilt. You know, I was going to survive and my family member was soon going to pass away. Um, and I would do things like watch television for hours and eat chocolate, a whole king size bar of chocolate I could polish off. And I would be amazed what happened to it. <laughs> I'd only tasted the first couple of bites. Where did it go? I was putting myself into a, a place that I was trying to avoid for a few minutes by eating this chocolate. It was giving me some pleasure, but it really wasn't because then I would get guilty that I'd eaten a whole king size bar of chocolate. So I'm thinking about yourself and what sort of emotions regularly come up for you. If there are emotions such as happiness and joy and elation, fantastic. But if you're regularly getting emotions such as anger and stress coming up for you, then I ask you to analyze whether you've become addicted to that, whether there might be situations that you are causing yourself to deliberately get into that. I'm sure you've all come across people that seem to fire up at the littlest thing. And that's absolutely an example of someone that's addicted to anger. So sometimes having that awareness for ourselves is a little bit harder and just writing down each day, you know, how you've been feeling can sometimes give you the opportunity to reflect on how have you been over the last week? What sort of emotions have regularly come up for you? And then you'll be able to see whether there are any patterns there. So just ask you to be more aware of your emotional state and whether your cells may have become addicted to an unhealthy emotion that it's now time to manage more effectively. Go back and have a look at your emotional management techniques and see whether or not there is anything there that might help you to be able to manage your emotions more effectively. It could be taking some deep breaths when you're feeling stressed or maybe just having the power of every day having regular hugs with somebody or um, even a fur baby or a teddy bear, whatever, um, will help your stress levels and, and your feeling of having more happiness in your life. Also, th that ritual of reflecting on what you're grateful for will absolutely help you feel happier in your life. If emotions such as depression, shame, guilt are regularly coming up for you, then this might be the opportunity that you need to blast some stuff out of that head of yours, some 
um, traumatic experiences potentially that may be causing these emotions to continually come up for you. We want to be able to reconstruct those neuro pathways in your brain and to do that you're going to need some professional help, some support from a counsellor or coach or uh, somebody that is able to and qualified to be able to help you with that. So how to be able to get addicted to having more happiness in your life? Something that um, I was told many years ago is to, to think about your inner child. That, you know, really young child that you might have been. What lit up that child? What made them smile and be happy? Um, whether it was being around youthful energy. Um, such as you know children or puppies getting out and and watching youthful energy and play is really um, it makes your heart sing almost. <laughs> For other people, um, some of the things that might make you happy are being creative. There might be some crafts that you like to do, or cooking, or um, it could be constructing something. Thinking about what makes you laugh out loud. Perhaps it's going regularly to watch stand-up comedians or maybe it's just setting aside some time every day or every week to watch some comedy on YouTube. Whatever it is that's going to help you have more laughter in your life. So I ask you now to note down for yourself what are some emotions that might be coming up for you regularly and what are some actions that you might like to take? And then we'd really love it if you could share a learning from today with us. If you have any questions, let us know. Wishing you a great day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.